asexual reproduction. By the end of this topic, you will be able to describe different types of asexual reproduction, describe vegetative propagation and its types, describe different methods of artificial propagation. Asexual reproduction is a form of reproduction that involves the production of a new organism by a single parent. Fission refers to the division of parent cells into two parts. This is the simplest type of reproduction and is seen in single-celled organisms such as amoeba and paramecium. In amoeba, the nucleus first divides into two equal parts. This is followed by the division of the cytoplasm. Thus, the two daughter amoeba formed grows and attain full size and then split again. In some organisms such as spirogyra and flatworm, the organism breaks up into two or more fragments after maturation. These fragments grow into new individuals. In budding, one or more new organisms grow in the form of a bulb-like projection called bud. It grows and then may eventually break away from the parent. If you view a solution of warm water, sugar and yeast powder under the microscope, you will observe in yeast that a little cytoplasm accumulates at one end of the cell and the bud is formed. The nucleus divides into two and one of them enters the bud. In yeast, the buds form rapidly and create a chain of yeast cells if there is enough supply of nutrition. In hydra, bud appears on the body wall, which grows into a full hydra in a day or two and separates from the parent. A spore is a tiny spherical unicellular body covered with a thick wall. It grows into a new plant when conditions are favorable. Bread mold that can often be seen growing on moist stale bread grows when spores settle on the bread. In the regeneration mode of reproduction, an entire new organism can grow from some pieces or cells of the parent organism. A flatworm can be cut into many pieces and each piece will grow into a complete new flatworm. Vegetative reproduction refers to the production of new plants from parts of the mother plant such as roots, stems or leaves without help of any reproductive organ. Potato There are several buds present on the surface of a potato called eye. A piece of potato with at least one eye on its surface is planted in the soil to develop a new plant. Ginger In ginger, new plants are produced by some parts of underground stems. Onion In onion, new plants are produced from the bulb, which is an underground stem with thick leaves. Strawberry. In plants like strawberry, the shoots with the buds bent towards moist land and grows into a new plant. Bryophyllum. The plant of bryophyllum reproduces with the help of its leaves. A bryophyllum leaf contains various buds on its margin. When these buds fall on moist soil, they give rise to new plants. 
Several artificial methods are developed for vegetative reproduction, which are commonly used to grow many plants from one plant. This is referred to as artificial propagation. Some of these methods include grafting, cutting, layering, and tissue culture. In grafting, a twig of one plant called sion is kept over the cut stem of another plant called the stalk. Then they are tied up together. The tissue of the sion and stalk combine to form a new plant. This method helps in developing a high yielding and disease resistant species of plants. In cutting, a healthy young branch or stem of the plant having buds is cut off and planted in moist soil. The cutting develops roots and grows into a new plant. In layering, a young healthy branch is bent down towards the ground and covered with moist soil. After some time, roots develop from the covered part. This is called a layer. This branch can now be cut to form a new plant. In tissue culture, a piece of tissue is cut off from the growing tip of plants and kept in the nutrient medium under controlled conditions. The hormones present in the nutrient medium helps in the cell division. It leads to development of roots and shoots. These plantlets are then grown in the moist soil. Vegetative reproduction is very useful as it allows developing new plants very quickly, exact copies of the parent plant are produced, plants propagated with this method need less attention in their early stages of growth and new variety of plants can be developed.